honestly thought it was gonna be a lot harder not to say that it's not hard and I don't have hard days because I do not just shoving information down her throat but really having her retain information hey guys welcome back to our channel if you're new here welcome my name is Jaisal I am so happy to have you join us for today's video be sure to go ahead and subscribe and join the family I put out videos weekly so be sure you stay tuned in if you're returning welcome back it is so good to have you join me for another video I am so excited for today's video it is week two of 2024 and I'm just super excited for what the Lord is gonna do through my channel I pray that that you find this video helpful and that it encourages any of you moms out there who are interested in potentially homeschooling your children everyone's homeschool environment looks different so I'm just so grateful to be able to share our journey and to share with you guys what it has been looking like for our family so before we get started if you guys did not watch last week's video I highly encourage you guys to go back to last week's video and watch the recap of some of the goals I made for 2023 as well as some of the goals that I have made for 2024 so that way you are up to date with every single video that I have done so far this year so let's go ahead and jump right into the video there were six things that I had noticed that I did accomplish this year I'm super excited to share those things with you the first one really being establishing a great routine homeschool in the beginning was kind of all over the place because there was no routine there was no order it was a struggle to begin homeschool in the uh, in the mornings as well as just keep the consistency keep the flow it was always a roller coaster there was no like we really didn't have a good momentum when I established a good routine for homeschool, waking the kids up, having breakfast, getting them dressed and ready for the day includes getting changing out of your pajamas, actually putting on clothes, doing your hair. It kind of felt like we were on an ongoing steady momentum, which really helped us establish a really great routine for homeschool. Another accomplishment that I noticed that this one is specifically tailored for Isabella. She learned her name. She learned how to spell it. So if I ask her, can you spell her name? She will spell it for me. She can recognize her name and she also also recognizes if I ever have her name spelled incorrectly so we do a game where I write her name on a sticky note and I make her put her name in order she's only three and a half she'll be four this summer so that's a huge accomplishment for her to be able to recognize her name recognize when it's spelled incorrectly and be able to actually put her name in the correct order she also learned her age, her brother's age, and my name and her dad's name. Now, my name is pretty hard, it's Jaisal, but she has the cutest way of pronouncing my name and I absolutely love it. Um, now, her dad, that was a hard thing for her to understand because her dad and her brother have the same name. Both of their names are Theo. For us, it was really important that our child, our children know our names because if we ever are in public and she ever gets lost and somebody asks her, hey, what is your parents' name? She's not saying mom and dad. The next accomplishment that I noticed that she did a, has really did a really good job at learning is her numbers. She learned her numbers 1 to 20. That was the main focus for the first half of the year. And she knows 1 to 20 in English and Spanish. Um, sometimes she gets mixed up in the Spanish uh, variation. Sometimes she misses some of the numbers, but we're still working on it. Um, I'm just really super proud of her because prior to homeschool, I didn't really enforce I didn't teach her shall I say a second language so that was something that was super important to me to also integrate into our homeschool plans my first language was Spanish so it was really important for me that my children also learn Spanish another accomplishment was just creating a safe loving and fun environment for them to learn in it is super important for our children to feel safe in every single environment that they're in for us it was creating a specific homeschool slash playroom for them and they absolutely love being in there they love the whole idea of just going to their room for homeschool it kind of makes them feel like they're actually going to school like sometimes Isabella will really put on her book bag and say all right mommy it's time for homeschool so she has enjoyed the environment that we created for her i also want to encourage the families because i feel like when a lot of homeschool moms talk about homeschooling they talk about having a homeschool room i want to say that that is not a necessity to have i will use exactly what you have and if that means you have to have a specific cart or like a makeshift shelving system in your dining room to make homeschool a little bit more accommodating for your space do that do what works for you but make 
make sure that you're creating a fun, a safe, and a loving environment for them to be able to learn in. The first couple of months of homeschool, Isabella really picked up on loving the whole concept of reading. She has her favorite books that she always goes to and so does Theo, but she really picked up interest in reading her Bible. She really goes to her Bible versus going to like a regular book. She loves when we sit down and I tell her story time. It is not something that I force onto her, but since she has shown an interest, so we can go ahead and have that be a part of her regular homeschool routine. Another accomplishment that I'm just super proud that she did, she just learned many, many, many sight words. And not even just of learning the sight words, but she knows how to use them in like an, in an actual sentence. She knows how to use them in conversation, which is super important. I make sure that when I'm teaching her sight words, she's gaining a true understanding of the sight words. So she knows how to use them in a sentence and she's really able to expand upon her vocabulary. Again, she's only three and a half. So all of these accomplishments I'm just super proud of nothing that we do in homeschool is ever forced everything is really natural I slow down in some areas where she needs me to slow down I speed up in other areas so really adjust based off of your own children I'm just sharing our experience with the first couple of months of homeschool with our children and I'm just so grateful to be able to share these with you so because you guys are family and I want you guys to feel a part of the journey as well now, these are some things I'm going to start integrating in the second half of the homeschool year. These things are a little bit different and I really honestly did not anticipate to be doing some of them so quickly so early, but here we are with the first one being establishing a great quiet time practice for Isabella. If you guys don't know, I am a mom of two. My oldest is three and a half and my youngest is almost two years old. It is really important for my youngest to be able to sleep and actually get the amount of the appropriate amount of sleep that he needs. So for that, I need to establish a really great quiet time routine for Isabella. She randomly decided she was no longer interested in taking naps and I'm not going to force her if she's exhausted she will take a nap if she's not I'm not gonna have her cry herself to sleep while my son has been sleeping Isabella has been on her iPad either playing games on her iPad um, watching educational shows or just watching movies in general but I really want to pull back from her consistently having the iPad every single nap one of my son's nap times I don't like that idea I just don't want it to always be the iPad um, there's nothing wrong with the iPad like I said she's been using her iPad during uh, quiet times right now and it's been working it's been fine but I just want to pull her away from constantly having to use the iPad and just rely on other things at the second half of the school year I'm really going to be integrating her learning Spanish um, a lot more frequently so I'm really gonna focus on her alphabets in Spanish as well as doing the alphabet and when it comes to the specific letter, whatever animal or fruit or object that it is, I'm also going to be introducing a specific uh, item in Spanish so she can also start correlating the letters with the names and start teaching her how to use them in sentences as well. So that way we could just broaden her um, Spanish vocabulary a lot more and she just start, begins to naturally feel more comfortable with speaking Spanish and understanding Spanish. So that's something that I plan to do in the second half of the year. We spoke on sight words in the first half of the video, but I also wanna to touch on something that I'm gonna challenge her to do the second half of the school year, which is learning more sight words. She picks them up really easy. She loves it. She It's not something that is hard for her to pick up so instead of challenging her to do one or two sight words a week I'm going to make two sight words a minimum a week and with a potential third just based on how easy or hard they are or how well she's progressing um, that's kind of a go with the flow but two to three sight words a week and then speaking of sight words I touched on it briefly but I want to start integrating some form of testing um, some homeschool moms are totally against this but like I said I'm really into not just shoving information down her throat but really having her retain information so I want to introduce some form of testing whether it's like a spelling bee test or uh, it's whether it's a fill in the blank and she she's able to use more of like um, critical thinking to see what sight word is supposed to go or whether it be a fun game I don't know I'll see like what she likes what she doesn't like but I want to make sure that she's actually retaining the information that I'm that I'm giving her um, and that is just not going in one ear and out the other so some form of testing it's not gonna be like a sit down paper thing it's really gonna be up interactive and what that looks like will just really just be based on us 
Um, but if you have any ideas, shoot them down below because I could really use some help. I just want to make sure that she's retaining everything. And if she needs help, I can help her in that area as well. And then the last thing that I plan to do this second half of the school year is just introducing um, new sets of numbers. So I might do uh, numbers as a set of five. So like I said, one to 20, she's really good on. So the next the next week, I probably am going to do um, 1 to 25 and then the following week 1 to 30, just really based on how much she's um, retaining. And again, I don't just teach them to her in English, but I also teach them to her in Spanish. So that is all of the things that I plan to do and introduce the second half of the school year. If you guys have some other ideas that I could potentially do the second half of the school year, go ahead, shoot them down below. I do not mind hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions. Opinions. I truly value all of you guys' opinion and just so thankful that you guys are a part of this journey with us. Now for my son, he has shown a lot of interest with being a part of homeschool. So there are some things that I plan to do to integrate him into a somewhat of a learning curriculum, but very informal because again, he's only one, he'll, he's almost two years old, but he's only one years old, but he has definitely shown interest in learning. He has picked up on his numbers as well in English and Spanish. He loves his alphabet. He loves when I sing the letters to him and I stop and then he's able to kind of fill in the blank for what letter comes next. I plan to continue to just have him a part of our circle time, which we go over the dates, the week, the months, the season. Um, what else do we do? Our colors, things like that. Uh, the weather, he really enjoys being a part of that. Bella kind of leads that portion, um, which I am working on her with her leadership skills. So that's really great. Um, Junior is picking up on them. Isabella has actually taught Junior his colors. So it's just like been really special to have both of them home, homeschooling both of them and just watching them learn from one another. It has just been such, homeschool has honestly just been such an amazing experience this year. Um, and I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot harder, not to say that it's not hard and I don't have hard days because I do, but I just thought it was gonna be a lot harder than what it has been, just integrating both of them and both of their ages are totally different with what they need to learn. But I have just been so blessed that both of them are into homeschool, both of them enjoy learning, both of them love being together and a part of the a whole experience that, because this is truly what it is. It's, it's just an experience and I'm just so grateful. And then the last thing that I really plan to do with him is really having him learn how to be a lot more independently playing um, while Sissy is doing some learning. He loves to play independently with his sister, but has not grasped the whole concept of, okay, sis, it's time for Sissy to do something that requires for her to really pay attention. So here's a toy, here is an activity for you to do to occupy yourself. Um, so that's something that I plan to do with him is just building up his independency a little bit more um he's a really he plays really well independently like he plays really well with his sister but when it comes time for him to play by himself oh he is not for it he does not like that idea he loves to play with his sister um but i want him to just start learning how to just be a little bit more independent and maybe i find that while she's doing her learning activity maybe i'll just do something specifically tailored for him at that time so that wraps up today's video thank you guys so much for tuning in to the second week of 2024 i'm just so excited for what the lord is going to do through my channel through me through my home i'm just super blessed to be able to share this experience with you guys be sure before you leave to go ahead and subscribe down below also like this video and share with your family and friends if you know somebody who wants to homeschool or is currently homeschooling go ahead and share this video with them until next time see you guys next week <laughs>